What is the easiest way to judge a company by their profitability? I'll help you understand this today. We're talking earnings per share or EPS. Earnings per share, EPS, is a fundamental metric which explains how much money a company makes for each share of their stock and is a good estimate of corporate value. Today we're looking at the earnings per share of Lockheed Martin, stock ticker LMT. They're currently trading at $341.77 and their earnings per share is $24.30. I've recently done a stock analysis on Lockheed Martin. I really recommend you check that out. They're a great company who should consistently be able to increase their dividend. Earnings per share is a company's net profit divided by the number of common shares that they have outstanding. In order to calculate EPS, you will take the net income and subtract it by the preferred dividends paid out. This gives you the net profit and then you divide by that common shares outstanding. One of the reasons that earnings per share EPS is an important fundamental metric is because it is used to calculate price per earnings or PE ratios. We will be talking about these next Friday. Subscribe to the channel so you can get notified on that. When companies have higher EPSs, this indicates that the company is worth greater value. This is because investors will pay more for a company's shares if they think the company has higher profits relative to their share price. The other thing we have to talk about when discussing earnings per share are diluted EPS metrics. Diluted EPS is an adjusted earnings per share metric which assumes that all shares that could be outstanding have been issued. If a company has securities such as stock options, warrants, and restricted stocks which are currently set aside and have yet to be offered, the basic EPS metric will not calculate for these, however the diluted EPS metric does take this into account. The reason it's important to watch out for earnings and share dilution is that it will hurt a company's ability for future growth and share price, and it also may offer insight on a problem with growing future dividends. If you enjoyed this segment of Fundamental Fridays where we look at a separate metric each week, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Smash the like button and leave me a comment down below if there's something specific you would like me to talk about. Don't forget to check back next week where we will be talking about that price per earnings ratio, which is another incredibly important metric for fundamental analysis. As always, I'm Patrick Zimmerman. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.